Place name boundary. At this point in the project, the design composition of the proposed building is complete. It is now time to move into the view composition stage, where desired views in the project will be composed. And then from there, sheet composition will begin, creating sheets representing the finished work that are ready for publication. For this, you will use the place name boundary tool to rapidly place the content of a design onto a new sheet. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will create a name boundary, rapid sheet creation via dynamic views. Let's begin by opening the proposed site plan DGN file. This can be found in the folder 09, Composing Sheets. Once we've entered completely into graphics, make the drawing boundaries level active via the level picker. Along the ribbon from the view tab in the name boundaries group, select the place name boundary tool. A name boundary is any closed element that has a name associated with it. Previously, you could create named fences from fences, clip volumes, and clip masks. Named fences have been renamed as name boundaries. Coming into the tool settings window, set the following options for the method from drawing boundary. From the drawing boundary drop down, select plan sheet only. In the name field, type proposed site plan. For the detail scale, set this to be one inch equals 20 feet. For the mode, place a single name boundary and make sure that the option for create drawing is enabled. Bring your cursor into the view, but do not issue a data point. Rather, observe the rectangle attached to the cursor. The rectangle's aspect ratio is being controlled by two factors. The first being the drawing boundary that you selected. A drawing boundary is a predefined area on a sheet model. In this case, the place sheet only drawing boundary is being read from the design library. Another factor controlling the aspect ratio of the drawing boundary is detail scale, which is currently set at one inch equals 20 feet in the tool settings window. With the place name boundary tool still active, hover the drawing boundary over the proposed site and observe the results. The drawing boundary at the given detail scale is not big enough to encompass the whole site. That being said, you need to adjust the detail scale in the tool settings window. Back in the tool settings window, set the detail scale now to one inch equals 40 feet. And then bring your cursor back into the view and now observe the results of the changing the detail scale. Clearly, this is large enough to fully encompass the site and surrounding the existing features adjacent to the proposed site. Bring your cursor to the left of Creel Avenue. With the proposed building centered visually within the drawing boundary, issue a data point. Hint, you can snap to the midpoint of the rear of the existing one-story block house. Immediately, the Crate Drawing dialog opens. The place name boundary tool is the latest part of the Dynamic Views portfolio of tools. Its goal is to make model analysis and documentation more interactive and intuitive with the ability to create live, intelligent views of a design that update automatically as the design evolves. Here in the Create Drawing dialog, ensure that the following options are set. For the name, Propose Site Plan, this is the name of the saved view. That the drawing seed is set to plan sheet only. That the create sheet model option is enabled. We will be creating a new sheet. The annotation scale is set to full size one to one. This is the scale factor of the sheet. The drawing boundary is set to 
plan sheet only. Detail scale is set to 1 inch equals 40 feet. This will be the scale factor of the reference. Enable the option Add to Sheet Index. And then click the folder icon. This will open up the Sheet Index Folder Picker. From here, select the folder O2 Plans. Click OK. Returning us back to the Create Drawing dialog. And finally, make sure that the Open Model option is enabled. Click OK when finished to generate the proposed site plan sheet. The sheet opens with the contents of the name boundary referenced. The sheet seed from the design library used to generate this proposed site plan contained a drawing boundary. The area that was designated is where the name boundary was spatially placed onto the sheet. Otherwise, the name boundary would have been placed centered on the sheet model and may have overlapped the sheet border. Also, as part of the creation of the sheet, the new sheet was included in the sheet index. A sheet index is a centralized and structured collection of sheets in a project. The sheet index can be useful in creating a construction document set that contains all of the sheets of your project. You can view the sheet index from the Explorer dialog. During this lesson, you learn to create a name boundary, rapid sheet creation via dynamic views. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.